Hello guys, if you are blindly downloading and running large language models from Hugging Face, then stop and watch this video. JFrog has done a huge service to the community by identifying hundreds of malicious AI and ML models on the Hugging Face platform. These models are capable of running code on a user system, potentially allowing attackers to gain long-term unauthorized access. Hugging Face is a company specializing in AI, NLP and machine learning offers a collaborative space for sharing models, data sets and applications. I almost daily download models from there and this is also a wake up call for me to be extra vigilant when running those models on my local system. And I think this is also a blow to the open source community after JFrog has identified all of these vulnerabilities because um, we were we are so much in favor of open source and not in the favor of closed source things like OpenAI's GPTs and Gemini's of Google. But you know I think Hugging Face needs to lift their game in terms of identifying and proactively and preemptively attacking and targeting these malicious LLMs. The security team at JFrog discovered that around a hundred models on this platform contain malicious elements that could lead to data theft and spying activities. And I will drop the link to this blog post from JFrog where they have gone into way more detail as what they have done. They have just said that data scientists targeted by malicious hacking face. I think this is uh, just downplaying the hacking face vulnerability because not only data scientists, a lot of people, enthusiasts and even common users are targeted. Now, this is how you know they have tested it out and all of these images and animations are from uh, this JFrog's website. So I will drop the link in video description. Despite hugging face implementing security protocols like malware scans and model behavior analytics, these hazardous models still pose a threat. And if you go to hugging face, you normally see this sort of warning, but then that's about it. So that is not really, I think they need to lift their game from here. JFrog's sophisticated scanning tools were employed to inspect PyTorch and TensorFlow Keras model on hugging face, uncovering 100 with malicious capabilities. Also this JFrog report has clarified that by malicious model, they mean th that uh, those models that carry actual harmful code. This statement confirms that, that the analysis accurately reflects the presence of intentionally harmful models, excluding any false alarms. And that is very, very alarming. A concerning example involved a recently uploaded PyTorch model by a user Baller423, which has been removed, thankfully. This model could open a reverse connection to a predefined host using Python's pickle reduce method to run code with model is loaded. This method cleverly hides the malicious code within the serialization process, so sort of a Trojan horse. Now, evidence suggests that the individuals behind this model could be AI researchers engaging in risky behavior rather than conventional cyber criminals, but it is just a matter of time. JFrog even set up a honeypot to track these activities but didn't capture any commands, indicating a passive approach from the operators over a one-day monitoring period. Some of these hazardous models might be part of security research to identify vulnerabilities in Hugging Face for bug bounty programs. However, the availability of these models to the public presents a genuine risk. Now, if you uh, look at the sort of vulnerabilities they found, these are the few like reverse shell, file write and pickle deserialization. Let me describe each one of them quickly. So reverse shell is a security breach that allows an attacker to remotely access and control a computer over a network. File, re file write is a vulnerability where an attacker can write or modify files on the system without authorization. Software opening could refer to vulnerabilities that occur when opening or executing software, potentially allowing malicious actions. Ping back is a type of network attack where an attacker tricks a system into sending information back to target system, often for reconnaissance or as part of a larger attack. Pickle deserialization is a security flaw in Python applications where untrusted data is processed by the pickle module. 
potentially allowing attackers to execute arbitrary code. Arbitrary code execution is a vulnerability that allows an attacker to run any code of their choosing on a victim's machine, often leading to full system compromise. Potential object hijack is a vulnerability where an attacker could take control of or alter object within a software application, potentially leading to unauthorized actions or data exposure. Now, all of these things are very, very concerning. So the security concerns associated with AI and ML models are significant, yet not fully addressed by sec industry stakeholders in my humble opinion. JFrog's investigation sheds light on these issues, urging increased awareness and preventive actions to protect against malicious threats in the AI ecosystem. I hope that this was useful. If you have any comments or if you are aware of any malicious LLM we should be aware of, feel free to let the community know in the comments. And if you like the content, then please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps. Thanks for watching.